Riles winner, solid all around. One thing about Rafael Lovato Jr. too is he brings a certain unique intensity to every match. You saw him, even in his most recent match against Nicolas Madrigali, just really intense on the map presence. And it's something a lot of people get stifled by. A lot of people don't know how to respond to that, that kind of intensity. Yeah, it's, it's surely shocking if you haven't felt it or seen it before. You got to think all that time in MMA, becoming a title holder in Bellator, really paid dividends there for Lovato. I remember when he came back to grappling competition, he said, man, I feel this is fun now. Before, it used to be kind of grueling and a lot of pressure and anxiety. And after going through the gauntlet in MMA, he's just having a, great, having a blast. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting punched in the mouth here, which is a nice change of pace, I'm sure. You see <laughs> some of those collar ties. Maybe we're back, bring back some memories there. That's true. In any case, here we see a battle unfolding on the feet here. Feeling out process is pretty standard at ADCC. You definitely want to get a little bit of a warm up in, right? Get those jitters out. First minute is always sort of a lot of hand fighting, collar ties. One thing I like that Javier Lamato's, uh, one thing I like that he's doing is he's keeping his head always a little lower than Toponin. Looking for a guillotine over the top. Yeah, an aggressive, aggressive uh, footwork from Lovato too. Really pushing his opponent across the mat. That's exactly what the ADCC judges and referee wants to see. Right back to it here as we get for the reset. One thing Toponin is allowing Lovato to do is he's allowing Lovato to get his right arm underhook in. And I wonder if that'll yield some, some takedowns as the match continues. Yeah, Lovato really uh, ratcheting up the intensity here in the opening moments of this match. And not even two minutes in, Lovato's really pushing the pace. You can already see how red the forehead of Pertu Toponin is. Just not letting him settle, right? Looking for the throw by his pulling on the back of the head, slapping the leg, thinking a single leg might come. It's got to be unsettling as Lovato's really controlling the tempo and rhythm so far early in this match. Even though there hasn't been a completed takedown, this is the kind of thing that makes that possible later. Absolutely. And this is where the experience comes into play with these veteran competitors who are in these brackets. It's like, you have to think these guys have thought about this kind of thing. They've thought about, okay, the first five minutes of the match, no points. I'm gonna use that to get this guy tired. I'm gonna use that to get myself warmed up in there, ready to go. And if anything happens, they're ready to take advantage for it. Now Lovato finding himself in a little bit of a headlock situation off of his own single leg. Seems like Deponent actually let that go before the referee stopped them, which is fine. They're right back in the middle. But like you said, Chase, don't stop unless the referee tells you to stop. Yeah, it's got to be kind of an uncomfortable predicament to be in as an athlete because you see the concrete approaching, the referee acting as a barrier, but you're still... Oh, we see Lovato pull guard here. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of the unique characteristics at ADCC is the match is definitely not stopped until the referee asks you to. Opponent. He's keeping his right hand. He's sort of alternating it between the wrist control of Lovato and a right hand grip on the hip. Lovato not, not particularly known for engaging in these heel hook entanglements that we see a lot of the newer generation go for. But he does have a very strong left knee shield that he keeps on engaging. Whenever Pertut opponent puts a little bit of weight forward, Lovato always ready to engage that knee shield to stop any forward pressure. Now, Lovato also may be looking to tie up the opponent in this passing exchange until points come into play and then scramble back to the feet. 
maybe he liked what he felt in those early wrestling exchanges. And therefore, when the points were in play, the opponent would be forced to stand and wrestle with him and maybe at a deficit skill set, let's say. I'm not saying that's the case, but maybe that's what's going on in the motto's head right now as we approach 30 seconds left before points come into play. Yeah, it was a very interesting uh, De La Hiva sweep he tried off the left side there. Seems like Toponin is receiving his second warning. And I'm actually liking what I'm seeing from Toponin. He's not looking too stressed out or overcommitting anywhere. He's sort of going side to side, seeing what Lov Lovato might shift to. But yeah, so far not a lot of forward momentum, which is again, the name of the game here, ACC. We are now in the points section here. This is where we always maybe see a slight adjustment in intensity or tactics. It was someone with the wrestling of Hafer Lovato. Oh, looking for a possible waiter sweep underneath. He's got the reverse De La Hiva engaged. Oh, will he be able to? Oh, uh -oh. to Taponin! Forcing Lovato to get back to his guard. Lovato seemed like he wanted to get up with a, sort of a sweep over his shoulder, the leg. Almost Over like an X guard sweep, but a little bit, didn't yeah. quite have the control, and Tapona nearly made the most of that. A little bit of a wake-up call for Lovato there. Don't get too comfortable. Don't want to give anything away for free. Yeah, it seems to me Lovato was very hasty to go for it. Like, almost went for it and lost sight of where the leg was over the shoulder there. But now we see Tapona back on top. He's probably been waiting for those points for two minutes. He said, okay, finally, let me get my points. Tapona, though, also pouring in the pressure from top here, a little more aggressive posture, weighing on Lovato. Oh, Lovato allowing that underhook to come in so we can elevate. Oh, possibly now coming underneath. Oh, that grip over the hip. Toponin is posturing up to his feet. Lovato oh. trying to isolate the leg, but Toponin this doing a great job. Couldn't quite get the control he needed to make that work. Toponin really showing off great balance, impressive base there, and uh, awareness that Lovato was nearly there. It seems like he's just very, he's almost on every one of these sweeps he's attempting. winner of this match will go on to face Trator later today. Each of the athletes in the men's divisions will have two matches today, two matches tomorrow. Oh, big sweep in the, now he's got the look that he wants, bending the knee and taking the back of the turtle position. Hoffer Lovato finding himself in a much better spot. Trying to get that left knee in to take the back. Two minutes and 30 seconds to work. His opponent now re-engaging his own guard. But now he has to deal with a different, a different kind of passing pressure. Lovato known for putting on crazy pressure on Yeah, look at, look at that already controlling the head and posture of the opponent, pulling it down. This is not where you want to be. It's important to note, by the way, that that was not a scoring sweep for Lovato because the opponent ended up in turtle, held that position for three seconds, and then went to guard, therefore not being a sweeping exchange. Definitely something to, to keep an eye on as you watch these matches. It may be uh, a bit different than something that you've seen before. And that's a big part of the strategy you were talking about. A lot of these athletes come in here with just a, such a great knowledge of the rule sets. In that situation, how do you just not, you know, fight and fight maybe perhaps in the ADCC an unintelligent way, just based off instinct, but Toponin was able to make sure that he put himself in a good spot upon getting taken down. Lovato goes to his feet here. Shoots an underhook. And now he's got the body lock passing.
Bottle really pushing the pace. If he does not want to go to overtime, gets out of that closed guard to Ponen, and happy to do that for him, actually opens the guard. And the Bottle again, putting on the pressure here. Oh, cycles his legs out of there. Once again, forcing the guard pass situation into Ponen, doing a great job of getting back to his turtle position and then back to his guard. I'm liking these passing sequences from Lovato, though. He's nearly finding what he needs. Chasing the back now. On three, now looking to take the back. One hook. Is there a hook in? No. But he's got 20 seconds to Ponen. Crafty turtle defense here, but Lovato pouring it on. Oh, and Lovato trying to even bring the leg over the arm to sneak it in there, but Deponin doing a great job preventing the hooks from coming in. Now, you can go over the arm, but not the shoulder for a back tape, but we only have five seconds left. We're going to go to overtime here. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can watch all three mats at the same time by using the multi-mat technology on the website or watching on the Flow Zone. So go to flowgrappling.com and put that to use if you want to catch all these matches at the same time. We're on mat one. I'm Jake Watson, joined by Chase Smith. In overtime here is Jafe Lovato and Peritut Deponin try to punch their ticket to the next round. Yeah, Lovato has to feel good about that, that opening round there. Or opening 10 minutes, let's call it. But didn't quite get what he needed to, to advance to the next round of competition here. Deponin knows this is a second chance. And Lovato, like you had mentioned earlier, has done a great job of sort of feeling out the wrestling exchanges. I think what we've seen so far is that there is a clear advantage for Lovato on the feet. And now, pulling guard comes with a considerable risk. You don't want to take a deferral point, which Toponin just did. And we're back to things here. We're going to see a very aggressive opponent now for the rest of regulation as he knows he's down by one penalty point. Olovato shucking up his right shoulder to get better leverage over this takedown, possibly. Very intelligent takedown from Javier Lovato Jr. to get that one hook in. Oh, going oh, for the going finish. For Will this be it? Oh, great defense compared to Toponin, but that was a tight choke right on the edge there. It looked like it was sort of a mix between a neck crank and a choke, but. Just a squeeze, and that did not feel good. Toponin feeling the effects there of this match so far as Lovato again puts on the pressure. Great leg work, leg pummeling is. Sean Williams, our other commentator, may call it. And now Lovato looks to take the back one more time. Let's see if he can get, get the points here. One hook is in. One hook is in, and will the other hook come in? He's in a good spot to make it happen. Oh, threading the choke. The other hook goes in. And he's threatening the choke once again. He's belly down. Will this be it? That looks close. There That's it is. That's it. Rafael Lovato Jr. once again. Gets the finish. Well done for the veteran Rafael Lovato Jr. Ooh, it's been a fun day already. What a oh my show. Goodness. His last dance is turned.